Welcome to Biology Access. In today's class, I'll be taking the introductory ecology uh, topic. If you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe and press the like button so that you get notification whenever I post a new video. Ecology is actually the study of the relationship between living organism and their environment. In order to do this, you need to study the organisms. You also need to study the environment. Then you need to study the relationship between the organism as well as the relationship between the organism and the environment. Why or what are the reasons for ecological studies? Ecology, as you know, it, it helps us to understand how our actions actually affect the environment as well as the living organisms. organisms. So, ecological study actually helps us to understand how our actions affect the environment as well as living organisms. It also helps us to identify the unique specific need of each species, which resources actually enable which organism to survive, which resources do this particular organism rely on, and how will our action affect these resources. Ecology also enables us to take a friendly or eco-friendly action, what we call the sustainable development model, when we are dealing with the environment. Other reasons for ecological study are actually displayed on the board. When carried out ecological study, it can be carried out on various levels. And because ecology is a very complex field, so you can carry out, uh, out ecological study on various levels. And one of the levels is actually the organismal level or the organism level. You can carry out at the population level, at the community level, at the ecosystem, as well as the biosphere, which is actually the largest ecosystem. When we talk about the organismal level, you can decide to study a particular organism, studying the behavior, the mating pattern, and all the details, the physiology, the morphology of this particular organism. In my, um, when I was watching a television um, channel, National Geographic World, so a scientist studying a particular species of animal from birth to death. That is actually an, a, a, a study on the organismal world level. Now, you can start to carry out your study on the population level. In this case, what you do is simple. You study the organism as a group. Maybe you decide to pick a specific um, Head of buffalo, or you try to speak a pride of lions in a particular area and study them as a group, how they relate among themselves, the hierarchy is the population growth, what are the factors that affect this population growth, their population density. In this case, you are carrying out ecological study at the population level, but you can also decide to carry it out at the community level, where you study the, the population of different species and study how they relate, how these various new of different species relate with each other, their competition, how uh, relationships or interactions such as competition take place, predator pre reaction, parasitism, and various inter specific interaction. You can also decide to carry out population study at the ecosystem level. In this case, you can, you are aware that. Ecosystem is defined as a particular geographical location where the plants, the animals, as well as the environment, they are interacting. The plants, animals, various organisms are interacting with themselves as well as the environment. So you can decide, in this case, please take note of the difference between ecosystem as well as uh, ecosystem and ecology. Ecosystem is a place, can be a little pond can be a large forest, it can just be a specific stone in a particular place where organisms are actually uh, gathering because of a particular resources. So ecosystem is a place, right? So you can start to study 
ecology at the ecosystem level, while the last one is the biosphere. The biosphere, as we define it in ecology, is actually the tiny space of the earth where which can sustain life. The tiny place of the earth which can sustain life. And the biosphere is actually the largest ecosystem comprising of the atmosphere, which is the outer space full of gases. We have the lithosphere, the ground, the rocks, as well as the hydrosphere, the region occupied by water, right? So a detailed video will be made on biosphere in later class, where we'll discuss various details, the details of various layers or various parts of the biosphere. Let's take a look at some of the terminologies or the basic terms associated with ecological studies. We have the habitat. Habitat is simple. Habitat is the natural dwelling place of an organism, right? We have the biosphere I have explained it before, which is the area of the earth which can, which have, or which is inhabitable by life or which can sustain life. We have the niche, the niche. And in, when you talk about niche or ecological niche, it actually means the role and or the function an organism plays in the particular habitat. We have the phenology, which is associated with how some natural phenomena or cyclic events in nature actually affect organisms. We have the biodiversity. Biodiversity refers to the various types, the different category of species that is present in a particular geographical location. When you say a particular place has great biodiversity, it means the number of different species there is very large. When you say biodiversity is, is low, it means few species are actually present. And we have the ecotype, which is actually a subpopulation of a particular geographical location, which are distinctly adapted to that particular place. In some cases, they have, the, they have developed a genetic features that actually enable them to what, adapt to that particular environment. So it's a kind of subpopulation as ecotype. We have the ethology which is the scientific study of the behavior of animals. You talk about their mating behavior, you talk about their defense, and all that. They will have the fundamental niche. Fundamental niche. The fundamental niche is actually is, is the environmental condition, various environmental conditions which can, or which another can actually survive and reproduce it, which can sustain them. All right, we're talking, we're talking about a uh, fundamental niche. Ecology have various branches. Talk about branches of ecology. Have various branches. We have the behavioral ecology. We have the population ecology, community ecology, ecosystem ecology, conservation ecology, applied ecology, microbial, and so many, even some that are not highlighted here. Some of details of various other type of ecology as well as some here will be explained in various uh, different videos. But when we talk about behavioral ecology, you're talking about the study of what the behavior of the animal. It's a quite straightforward. It's just easy. Talking about population ecology, you're studying the, the population. So the population, how their growth rate, density, how is it affected by certain conditions, what are the factors affecting their growth, and all that, the type of growth that they are experiencing. Talk about the community ecology. Same applied to community biologically what different what species inhabiting a particular geographical location. So you're talking about their interaction, always interaction, predator pre interaction, we talk about parasitism, we talk about mutualism, commercialism. So you're studying these factors. You're talking about the study you're carrying out what uh, community what ecology. Ecosystem ecology, I have mentioned it when I was talking about ecosystem. Different video will be posted on ecosystem. We have the conservation ecology. One of the distinctive features or one of the benefits of ecological study is that it actually enables us to know the best way actually to what to enable us to know the best way to 
conserve our environmental condition. It's actually ecological studies that actually bet, give birth to what we call sustainable development, development which human needs are actually meant while preserving the condition of the environment, carrying out environmental management as well as developing, meeting human needs. That is um, a different topic entirely. So have the applied ecology, microbial, and other aspects. So please take note. If you know any area is confusing, you can always send us an email on biologyassess at gmail.com. Please subscribe to, subscribe, uh, to support this channel.